Hey YouTube, Matt with Bonsai Bobcat here. Today I'm going to be replanting some Japanese maples that I grew from seeds. Um, as you'll see here in a minute, some of these little guys, well, three out of six, I was able to actually get to sprout from the ground. Two took off fairly well, and the other one is sitting rather small. So we will see how they go from here. Let's get to it. All right, so I'm not gonna put these into bonsai training pots yet because they're still super small. I'm actually gonna put them into these little pots that I got. Uh, there's three of them. I'm gonna break all three of them up. And honestly, once they go in here, they will be in here for a while until I feel that the roots have um, grown big enough that I can end up repotting them. So I'm planning on them being in these little guys for probably a year or so. Probably two years, honestly. Uh, so, to start it off, I normally don't show you guys this, but I either put lava rock or mini pine nugget mulch at the bottom. Just as something to kind of like make sure we don't lose all our soil through the drainage holes at the bottom of these. So, I've got all three of my pots filled up now down at the base. So now it's just to getting these little guys out. So we will start. Let's start with this teeny tiny little guy and see if it actually ever developed a root system that is going to be good enough to for it to take off on its own. All right. So for starters, I probably should not have tried to repot this one. Um, it's got one teeny tiny little root. All right, so I'm gonna take some of what it was growing in and just throw that back in there. Press that there. So this mixture that I'm using for this one is peat moss, vermiculite, and perlite and pine mulch just gonna take and fill this up a decent amount here let's get another little scoop all right so now that we're down in there just gonna spread it out a little bit i'm gonna try and get the root off to the side here and then just fill in around it. Sorry, it's a little, <laughs> this little tree definitely just disappeared down inside this pot. Um, so from there, we're just gonna throw a little bit of water on there and this one is all repotted. So it is late in the year for repotting, so I will be putting these into the greenhouse and they're probably going to be living in the greenhouse for a while. All right, let's get a little bit more water in there. I'm gonna water off my my trunk here. Just clean that up a little bit. Okay. I'll grab a little piece of moss from laying over here on the ground. It's pretty dry as well, the moss is, but with a little bit of water. We should be good. Let's 
So now we're just going to add a little bit more water to this tree. And then that one's just going to get set off to the side. And now I'll go back in the greenhouse here in a little bit. Okay, so we're going to unroot one of these, get it out of the little planter here. And then once that's out, I'm going to switch you to fast mode. That way you don't have to watch me repot a whole bunch of these. So it appears the well-rooted ones are a little bit harder to get out. All right, so let's just take a look real quick. See what these roots look like. After we do that, we'll switch to fast mode here. As I figured, this one has grown so much better because it has a way better root base than that last one did. All right, so I'm gonna get this cleaned up through the fast mode. Hey all, so it appears that I forgot to check my battery. So my battery ended up dying on my GoPro, which is okay because we were just fast forwarding through the planting of that last Japanese maple tree that I was working on. So let's give it a look here. Um, this is the last one that I just did. This is the second to last one right here. And this is the teeny tiny little baby that I'm not sure is going to make it or not. So we'll give it a try and just hope for the best on that one. Um, so now this is where the two big ones will probably live for the next two years, depending on how they take off next spring. And this little guy is probably going to be in here for three years unless for some reason it magically just sprouts out like crazy all right well thank you for coming along on this journey if you enjoyed this video hit the thumbs up to like it if you want to see more of my videos please subscribe and if you want to be notified every time i make a new video please hit the bell notification thank you